Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So we are going to see encryption and the decryption. So whenever we are working in the industrial project, obviously we get sensitive information, let's say, uh, user credentials are there, roles, so many not things are there. Sometimes uh, some, uh, what we can say, API keys are also there to access some particular resource. Bitbucket credentials, you have, or AWS uh, block storage, so many keys are there. So all these type of credentials or some sensitive data, we have to store somewhere in the application. And while in interacting with the API, we need to send that data also. So when we talk about web application, where do we store at least in a service, in the local storage, session storage, or in cookie? But all this type of medium, one can easily see also that data. So if we directly store that data as it is, user will, whoever trying to, let's say, hacker or anything, so they will directly can be, they can directly read the data, right? So instead of directly storing it, we encrypt the data. And whenever we need that data, we decrypt it. And then we send it. So that how we do in Angular that we are going to see. So when we talk about encryption and de decryption, so in Angular, we have crypto.js is a library, RSA encryption is the library, and so many libraries are there. Based on the need and what, uh, what do we say, backend you have, you have to choose your library. Okay, the most popular is the crypto.js. It is only concerned with the Angular side. It is not concerned with the backend side. And RS encryption is there, which will work on Angular side and the .NET side as well. I am not aware about the Java, but it might be supporting or not. So whatever the encryption you done on the Angular side, same encryption you can uh, same encrypted data they can decrypt on the .NET side as well because same algorithm we are using. Fine. Now, in this episode, we are going to talk about in crypto.js. How do we use the crypto.js? Logic will be same, but just the way I'm explaining like how we do the encryption and the decryption. So first, like how to install it, scenarios. Now, what will be the scenarios? So first is like login, storing credential in the browser or local storage, sending encrypted data to the API. So if we specifically talk about sensitive application, let's say banking, insurance domain, trading, application so there we cannot send the data whenever we make the API call in the network type we can see the data whatever we are sending correct that doesn't look good so because anyone can open the developer console and see what data we are passing what data we are receiving so in this kind of application where data security is the first concern what they do while sending the data we have to encrypt and while receiving data receiving the data also they send it in the encrypted format so by using the same key we decrypt it Okay, so these are the various scenarios where we need the encryption. Now let's start the installation. So uh, related to crypto.js, these are the two libraries you need to install. First, basic there crypto.js. So this is the command. You just have to copy it. And then let's open a new terminal. Over here, you need to install it like this. Okay, I have already done it. So that's why I'm not doing it again. After this, you need to do this second one for getting the types of the crypto.js. Otherwise, you will get error. So two libraries you need to install. Fine. Doesn't matter you are using Angular old version or the new version. This will be same process. Fine. So once you are done with the installation, now let's say I have this login page already over here. So in login page, I will first, whatever the username, user type, I need to store that into local storage. Okay. And that data, we will try to decrypt in the dashboard. So in login component, we will uh username whatever the email id user entered that data we will store in the local storage but with the encrypted and in the dashboard component we will try to decrypt it fine so this is how we are going to do now so once you've done the installation now we have to start the encryption so this is the first import you need to do okay so let's add the import over here like this now we need to create a function which will which will perform the encryption so let's give it a name and that function will return something. 
either you can create a service also but just we are just talking about the topic so over here only i'm just creating the function basically you should be creating a service and you should put the service encrypt data and decrypt data function into that service but for now i'm writing it over here encrypt data now this function again one more thing whenever we talk about encryption we will have a we while encrypting and while decrypting we have to use the same key correct so now that key i will what we can do let's create a constant file dot ts export constant okay let's say en key is equal to something value i will store let's say 12 one, 123 two, wqrs anything you can store whatever the key you feel you just have to store that now so this function will have two parameter first is like data what you want to encrypt then key so key we can directly use it over here so we don't need to add a function let's say it can be now what type of data you can now encrypt either string number array object anything whatever you feel so you can do the encryption of that so over here let's say return and again here we will add the try catch block or let's go with the normal return crypto js dot so in crypto js also there are so many algorithms see so many algorithms are there you can choose any one okay whatever the algorithm you are using to encrypt the same algorithm you have to use while decrypting also fine so i'm just going with the first one aes dot encrypt method is there now encrypt method has two parameter see first is the message and then key so message will be like whatever the data we get and then key so key we have stored in the constant file so let's get that constant file dot key fine so this function is uh, responsible to encrypt the data whatever we send now this function i will use it over here constant encrypt user name is equal to this function and what i will pass just the username whatever the username we have so this dot login object dot email id fine and this email id we will store to the local storage then we will try to read the local storage encrypted data into the dashboard component so set item you name what we need to store this encrypted one mm, i thought so because local storage only require string type of data and it will get us the encrypted one let's make it two string or here only we will make it to two string because we need the string type of data fine now you can see error is gone let's check this one first if we are able to encrypt the data and store it now just to uh, do the login i have already created one user so test to at the gmail.com over here password is one one two two three three let's add a debugger over here now if i click on login api call will be there once api call is success so now here you can see i'm passing employee uh, this whatever the email id user type that i'm passing to encryption now in the return you can see this is the encrypted data got it now this encrypted data we are storing in the local storage with the key uname let's see the uname if we have it application local storage you name see now in the local storage we have stored the encrypted data now this data whatever the email id encrypted data we have stored that in dashboard component we need to decrypt and we need to show it over here so let's try the decrypt one now let's close it now we have to go to the dashboard component so now in dashboard component we need to create one function or first on the page load we need to read the local storage data so constant you name is equal to local storage dot get item 
what is the key what we use to store the data u name so this same we need to pass it over here fine now we need one more function to decrypt the data decrypt data again it will have a parameter string so here let's say return again we need to add the import also of crypto.js so let's copy this both the things we are going to need so i'm just copy pasting it now over here again same thing crypto.js what is the algorithm which we have used see over here we have used the aes only so same we have to use otherwise it won't convert dot decrypt method we have to use what we need to pass whatever the data we have and key so key will come from constant why it's not suggesting constant dot environment key fine now once we get the data again we will create a variable let's create a global variable decrypted name data type string by default assigning to empty now in decrypted name we need to store the data so this dot decrypted name is equal to we have to call this function what we will pass whatever the data we have stored in the local storage let's try this why we are getting the error okay so it is saying like it can be null let's add a null check if you name is not null inside if condition we will put this still it is saying oh sorry again two string we need to do now here while decrypting we need to instead of directly two string we have to use the byte dot two string so let's create a constant decrypt val is equal to this then return what we need to return bytes why bytes is not suggesting what will be the i think bytes or something was there crypto jes aes dot decrypt we have decrypt that and then to string do we need bytes what will be the import for bytes it's not suggesting also let me just check so sorry i forgot that so this value we have to use then we are actually converting to, to string over here and we have to specify the utf type also like what type of uh, data we are going to convert and this type we are actually returning now this function we have already used it over here and this we will try to print it let me just remove this after that hyphen hyphen let's just add a debugger also let's just save let's try now it's available but let's reload one more time so see from the local storage we have stored the encrypted data so in your name you can see encrypted data we have got now it is not null so it will go inside and this function we are calling let's add a debugger over here also so now we have got the encrypted data then we are trying to decrypt it now over here you can see again we have got some byte data see so we cannot show like this now we need the actual string so for that two string we have said and while doing the two string we have said the encryption also type of the data what we are trying to convert it to the string so that will get us the actual value so see over here got it so whatever the username user have typed that we have encrypted stored into the local storage and in the dashboard we have decrypted and we are able to show that fine so this is how we do the encryption and the decryption 
So now this function, I have written it in the component, but you can create a separate service and put that function over here. Just like AES, you have so many different algorithm to use from the crypto.js and same kind of code will be with RSA also and so many other libraries. Because whenever we work with any libraries, their documentation will be proper clear and it, it won't be like any extra or something any different. All the libraries will have some common function like encrypt, decrypt. We just have to see and we just have to use it. Fine. So I hope this will add a valuable information to you. Again, this will be helpful while preparing for the interview also because so many interviews will ask you like, are you aware about any encryption and decryption? So yeah, you can tell them like crypto.js is the library which we can use for encryption decryption. RSE is also one. Or you can again Google also. Fine. So that's it. If you are new, please do like and subscribe.